In this example, we see the declaration of some basic variables. In my main method, I've declared an integer variable called x and set the initial value for x equal to 5. The next line, I chose to do a declaration and an assignment on a separate line. This may be necessary if you need to define the variable in one scope, but actually initialize it or set values to that variable within another scope. I've also done a declaration of two variables of the same data type all in one line by doing a declaration of i and j, setting them respectively to 10 and 15. Now, to identify the results of the variables, we can go ahead and look at the output that's generated by doing a system.console.write line. System.console is a class. This class supports the write line method. The system.console class basically represents the console in a console application. So this allows us to write to the command screen, basically. Using the write line method, we can write whatever text we want to that's in the body of the method call itself, and then it will always append a new line character at the end. So that's the difference between the system.console.write method and the write line method, is the inclusion of that return character. Now in this example, what I've done is I've just indicated a particular string sequence, the value of x is, and then I have added the actual variable x here and done that as well with y, i, and j. In addition, I'm also interested in finding out what the actual base type is of the variable i. So I have used the getType method. Remember that getType will return whatever data type that variable is. So since i is an int, getType get type returns int. However, what I'm really interested in finding out is what is the base type of that? Is it system.value type? The base type property of the value type that we're actually dealing with here should return system.value type as the base type of the variable i. Let's run this code and see what our results are. When the code is executed, we get the results that we would probably expect. Let's compare this result screen to the code. The value of x is 5, value of y is 6, i is 10, j is 15, exactly as we would expect. Here is the result of our check on base type. The variable i does have a base type of system.value type. So we know that this data type is a value type and not a reference type. Otherwise, it would be a system.object. 